Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices. Serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. 21-year-old Johnny Mullins was arrested Tuesday evening in Jenkins. The charge? Second-degree arson. Kentucky Forestry notified Jenkins police on Tuesday that the forest fires that had burned around the city for more than a week were finally out. Just a couple of hours later, a new fire started in Wheaton Hollow, near the residence of former city councilman Terry Braddock. When police and firefighters responded, they found an active forest fire and contained the blaze. Police Chief Jim Stevens also allegedly found 21-year-old Johnny Mullins, who after questioning, admitted to setting the fire. Mullins gave a voluntary statement taking responsibility for the fire and offered his apologies to the community. At this time, there's no indication any other fires other than this one in Wheaton Hollow uh, area is connected to Mullins. Mullins was a part-time resident in Terry Braddock's home. Braddock said he was surprised to find out that Mullins allegedly had a hand in setting the fire. I never suspected that he was doing anything, but after you know, after I seen the, the fire last night and stuff, and the way it was burning, it's, it, I could tell that it was, I mean, it was mm-hmm. created. Mullins is relatively well known in Jenkins. On his personal Facebook account, he posts weather-related videos and field reports. In several recent posts, he reported on the forest fires around Jenkins. I don't want to get so close to the uh, fire because of the smoke, but as you can see uh, behind me, this is what we're dealing with. We're here dealing with some very, very dangerous conditions. In another post, he stated that he did not believe the fires around Jenkins were intentionally set. Chief Stevens said no motive has been established for Mullins' alleged actions, but Mullins' alleged role in the latest fire will be taken into consideration into the investigation into other fires around Jenkins, and charges from other agencies, including the federal government, are possible. This time, this is the only one that we can positively connect him with, uh, but investigations are still ongoing. Um, We were in contact with the U.S. Forest Service. They had uh, uh, requested us contact them uh, if we did make any kind of arrests on this. Uh, They will be uh, uh, contacting us again, and they also have an open investigation into into this fire as well as as the others that have been set in the area. Mullins remains lodged in the Letcher County Jail. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.